Good morning, everyone. Um, welcome to uh, IAD's uh, Simplifying Your Sales Success by Offering Multi-Year Guarantee Annuities. So I hope everyone is doing well out on this beautiful Wednesday uh, morning here in Michigan. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to just jump in uh to this, uh, just a few housekeeping rules. Uh, everyone is muted, so if you have questions, um, I'll be able to answer them at the end of the presentation. So just uh, type your questions in. Um, what we'll also do um, in the next couple of days, we'll have uh, the presentation cleaned up and be able to uh, email it to everyone, and then we'll also have it on our um, YouTube page. All right, so with that, um, again, welcome. Uh, IAD simplifying your sales success by offering multi-year guarantee annuities. And um, with that, um, we're going to, you know me, I'm Bernard Jeter, brokerage sales advisor. Actually, I'm the, the life and annuity guy here. So I'm always open. You guys give me a call, email, text me uh, anytime. Um, so what IED prides itself on is its seven pillars of success. And what our seven pillars of success are, um, one is our product offering. So we offer top products in each category, and you all um, pretty much are uh, MedSup or Medicare Advantage. You know, we offer the, the top carriers on um, that side of the business, um, but as well with our uh, life and annuity products, offering the, the, the top carriers um, in each of those uh, services. Um, also, um, we're big on our marketing services. I mean, we have a, a brand new marketing team that's uh, top notch, and um, from anywhere, um, graphic design, um, customizing marketing pieces that we have. I mean, we we do it all for you. Um, then our lead generation, um, we're big on our lead generation, especially incentives, incentives that we offer, as well as for um, our various meds up and final expense carriers. Um, technology is big, too. As you see here, um, we have our um, webinar platforms as uh, well as other things that we have going on for technology. And then our sales tools. Um, uh, the biggest sales tool that insurance advisor has is its marketing rep. So myself or Mark, Dan, Christy, we're the biggest sales tools that um, IED has to offer, as well as our quoting tools and other uh, things that we have um, assigned to our uh, website. And then training and education. As you see with our, our webinars and our sales summits and just Mark your calendars for this. We are having another sales summit uh, the end of March, maybe beginning of April, but we'll have that information uh, out to you. So um, get ready for that. And then our administrative services. You know, we have um, our uh, quoting. We can do the quotes for you guys. And we have uh, Heather. She's our licensing and, and contracting specialist. So that whole uh, back office support system we actually uh, have. All right. So here, let's jump right on in this. So, um, and, and it's my thinking. I'm like, well, what is the simplest way to uh, garner annuity business for our uh, agents or the, for you folks that sell uh, med subs? And and I know um, migas can be, or not migas, but annuities can be a, a daunting thing. It can. Um, Folks are, are kind of shy away from annuities because sometimes they, they may not understand it. But it has its place in the financial services world. And uh, and MIGA is, is a great tool, especially for uh, you folks that offer uh, med subs or Medicare Advantage uh, plans to your clients. So, one, uh, what is a MIGA? A MIGA is, of course, is an insurance product. It's a guaranteed, has a guaranteed interest rate for a set period of time. And those time frames um, can be anywhere from uh, three, five, seven, eight, nine, ten years. And they're typically funded uh, with a single premium. It can be non qualified or qualified money. And that interest is credited 
uh, to the account value until the end of that guarantee period. So, and with this webinar, and we're not going to get into the to the different uh, types of other financial products that um, mirror Amiga or are um, comparable to Amiga. So we're just going to take a look at Amigas and, and maybe CDs. So let's uh, continue. What is the difference between uh, other fixed interest uh, type products? So as we said, the MIGA is an insurance product in issued by an insurance carrier. Uh, it's guaranteed um, by the financial strength and claims paying ability of uh, the insurance and suing company or the insurance company, and it's not FDIC insured. However, uh, each state guarantee agency in, in each state does allow uh, or have funds that will help back those um, annuities just in case um, it fails, which um, probably won't happen, ever happen, as a matter of fact. And then it's a long-term product uh, to build assets with guarantees. So benefits of uh, fixed annuities. And like I said, we're going to compare this to a CD. And actually fixed annuities as well as uh, MIGA. MIGA is a fixed annuity. Uh, can you make additional deposits? You cannot make additional deposits to a CD, but you can make uh, additional uh, payments to um, a flexible annuity. Now, MIGAs are... Um, like I said, straight as a, a single premium product, so you can't make uh, additional deposits. But a flexible plan, um, like a fixed index annuity or just a regular fixed annuity, you'll be able, or the fixed index annuity, you'll be able to uh, make additional products. Now, with annuities, um, is your uh, interest compounded and reinvested automatically with no current income taxes? No with uh, CDs, but yes with uh, annuities. And know that interest rate, you say, is compounded, and interest actually grows on the interest um, as well. So can you begin receiving interest after 30 days? With CDs, no. On annuities, yes. Uh, depending on the carrier and the, the product, yes, you can uh, receive um, interest payments after the first 30 days. Can you make penalty-free withdrawals? With CDs, no. On annuities, yes. Is your account uh, creditor protected? Yes, with annuities and no with CDs. Is there an automatic bypass of probate expenses and delays. So if a person passes away and uh, they have a CD, uh, um, that's going to go through probate, probate. With annuities, it's an assigned beneficiary, and that beneficiary will uh, get the proceeds of or the death benefit or whatever is left um, over. Uh, can you receive a guaranteed monthly uh, lifetime income? With CDs, no. With annuities, yes. And actually, there's even some MIGAs that have an, an, an income uh, rider to it. But generally, um, fixed, ex and fixed index annuities, they do have uh, where you can get lifetime income. And then, of course, uh, we already said this, can you make additional pop deposits? Yes, with flexible plans only. And uh, which option clearly gives you the more choice? Um, you know, this bias is, is actually the annuity. The annuity gives your clients more um, freedom to choose from it as opposed to a CD or even a, a money market account. So who should um, have a MIGA? Retirees over the age of 60 are owners of CDs and or money market accounts and those who are looking for guaranteed rates of return for a specific period of time. Uh, those are the folks that are um, best suited for MIGAs. Um, generally, let's just say, I mean, let's just look at how the, the market has been going up and down for the last week due to um, the coronavirus um, scares. So you have, let's say you have a senior that has an, an IRA or um, 
uh, still has money in their 401k that they're just keeping there. Um, and they're looking for guaranteed rates of return. The MIGA would be the best option for them. Uh, folks who have CDs um, that want more flexibility, the uh, MIGA best option to go for that client. So advantages of a MIGA. So MIGAs are typically offer higher interest rates than a bank CD or money market account. So uh, for instance, I just checked a bank rate this morning. One CD is going for uh, 1.2%. So um, with Nassau Re, a uh, five-year uh, MIGA has a, a, a interest rate of 3.35%. But then I'll show you how the, the MIGA grills as well. Um, uh, MIGAs or annuities are tax-deferred. MIGAs can be purchased uh, with non-qualified or qualified money. The principal is uh, guaranteed. Now, however, you know, if you take money out of the uh, a penalty-free uh, payment from the from the annuity, of course, that's going to take money out of the the principal. But principal is always uh, guaranteed. Access to money with penalty-free withdrawals avoids probate, guaranteed rate of return, and simple and easy to understand. Uh, and then this is the big part um, for agents as well as clients, because clients are looking for uh, simplicity. And pretty much that's why um, when they go to the bank and the bankers see that this person may have so much in their account and this client wants to put it somewhere safe, now CDs are a safe um, investment, but it, it's not as flexible as a CD. So the simplicity of it is is they're going to the bank and it's right there. Um, product is right there and it's just simple form. But us as agents, um, we have, and especially being a Medicare, you, you folks know the uh, financial uh, concerns of your clients. And simple source right there is you, the Medicare agent. And to provide that that migra, just let your clients know there's other options other than a CD or a money market account. So how does a migra grow? So here's an illustration um, with uh, Nassau Re. Uh, this one is a, a seven-year uh, migra. So the surrender period is for so you can keep it for seven years uh, with an interest rate of 3.45%. Uh, uh, so interest grows that first year. We person put in $100,000. So that first year interest is uh, $100,000, uh, $103,450. So next year uh, it compounds, the interest compounds. And it still grows, and is this just growing each year for that seven-year period? Till uh, seventh year is at 126,798. Now, at the end of that initial guarantee period, and the uh, next slide will show you uh, what your options or what your client options are uh, for that time period. So, let's say person starts in the eighth year. Of course, there's the the beginning value there's the the credit amount and then it's going to keep growing um each year at that declared interest rate so not as uh fixed index annuities are a little bit more trickier cuz now you have the crediting different crediting strategies that are involved but this miga is straight interest rate straight guaranteed interest rate so all right, so what happens um, at the end of the guarantee period? So at the end of that seven years, and what we'll do is we'll, we'll go back. So at the end of that seven-year period, you have a 30-day window to do uh, a couple of things here. You can either uh, keep that uh, annuity and then just continue for uh, another seven years, 
uh, choose a new period with a different uh, duration, or you can, let's say you have a seven-year MIGA, um, you can switch that on over to a five-year MIGA or maybe a 10-year MIGA, depending on uh, what that company offers. Uh, the other option is you may withdraw all or a portion of that account. Keep the remaining, if you uh, just withdraw a portion, keep the remaining remaining amount in there um, for another period or um, choose a different duration. Now, let's say if your your client um, gives the, the carrier uh, no direction or does not call the carrier, um, forgets about the 30-day window, um, that account will automatically uh, renew after 30 days um, to whatever that declared interest rate is. Uh, and what you'll see on illustrations, a minimum will always be 1%, but nine times out of 10, that insurance company is going to keep that uh, interest rate at whatever was declared at in this case with Nassau Re at 3.45%. Uh, so um, annuity simplified. So, and, and it's just for us, for the agents, MIGAs are simple and easy to understand and they're straightforward. Um, the client, they're getting that guaranteed interest rate for whatever that time period that uh, that client wants. Um, just simple, as simple as that. Application is simple. Uh, I think the only difficulties is um, would be uh, uh, an exchange. Uh, let's just say if this person has um, money in another annuity. Just uh, sometimes other carriers will take their time releasing those funds to the new uh, carrier, but that that's the only difficulty with Amiga. Everything is straightforward and easy. So what carriers uh, we offer, um, these are our carriers that offer uh, MIGAs. Uh, the carriers that I personally would recommend would be Oxford and Nassari, even Equitrust, um, FNG. They have very good MIGA rates. But the two um, most competitive would be Oxford and Nassari. And um, after this, I'll send everyone an email with uh, those carriers, that information as well. All right, so we also offer fact-finding sheets. I'm saying to keep the process simple, so when you're meeting with your MedSub clients or those Medicare Advantage clients that uh, you now have uh, money stashed away, uh, just present this form to them. Uh, and like I say, this is the most simplest form we have, and um, you send it on over to me, and we can figure out what – uh, how much or what type of MIGA, or maybe the person may not even need a MIGA, might be better suited for a fixed indexed annuity. But um, this form is simple, and we just want to simplify everyone's success. So we, uh, this form will do the trick for us. Um, the next form that we have is just a bit more um, information uh, coming from your clients, um, and, and this will tackle uh, several uh, things here. You'll find out um, the net worth of this person, what the person is actually uh, wanting, needing. Um, it's going to be a little bit more detailed information. So you could actually use this for uh, your final expense, um, universal life policies, annuities, uh, even uh, med for med subs and Medicare Advantage just to see the type of income this person has. And that's the second part of it, just a little bit more information to it. So, um, folks, that is it on my guess. Um, like I said, we just want to um, offer a simple solution uh, for you to offer a simple solution to your client base. And my guess is the, the best solution out there for you. So, folks, if you have any questions, um, please uh, type away or you can send me an email, call me. Or um, text me with uh, whatever questions that you may have. All right. So if there are no uh, questions, folks, uh, everyone, I want you to have a good day. Uh, you will be receiving a copy of this presentation. And like I said, also it will be uh, set up on our YouTube page. 
And please don't hesitate to, to call if you have any questions. So, folks, have a great day. Take care now. Bye.